Boondock Beeler's back again. We got another repair video, this time more in depth. We got a 2020 Articat Riot X. We're gonna be cleaning the power valves today. And I was getting started doing this and then I was like, wait, there's other stuff that need to be done to this sled. A lot of other stuff. First things first, snow flaps coming off. It's just always in your way. They made these grooves in it to get your hand back there, but there's hardly any room. As you can see, I'm not even wearing gloves. And then you stand there to pick it up. You hit this solid snow flap. Oh, man. This slide's a pig, too. You don't want to be... You don't want to be lifting this thing in the back country. You need three guys. Much better look. Yep. Now everyone can see all my torn lugs as I go by. <laughs> Alright. Back to the main attraction now. Just took these screws off with, you know, old trusty here. You're going to want an impact. Okay, we took the end piece out. Sorry, we had a light malfunction. Took this piece out. Tools. Eh. Always tools. Oh. It's pretty dirty. I thought it'd be worse. We'll see what the other side looks like, too. Just put these uh, two bolts back on. I kind of checked it. It only will go on fully and securely one way, so you can't mess that up, it looks like. It'll still slide on, but when you go to put it on, there'll be a big gap. You'll know. Put it on the right way. Now, these pieces. Remember to put the pin in first. Then the weight. The pin's got to go in there. And then this guy. Want to be careful with these ones as it's being screwed into the engine. So far on the left side, all I did, one bolt, take the, what is that, the secondary? The big one. Take the big one off. And the belt deflector, belt shield, was held on by a bunch of T25s. But the last two are like riveted on there. So I just, just bend it out of the way because it'll be in the way here. So there's where we're trying to get to. Oh, you're going to need an 8 for the back side. It's a 10 on the front. We got these bolts off. Didn't have much give. Um, so what you're going to want to do, I would just pull on it pretty damn good like this. Get it as far out as you can. Find a wedge of some sort. Wedge it back there. Pull it out. Keep the wedge in there. Get your drill ready. Left one you can get out, but the right one, you're going to want to pull on this and drill that screw out at the same time. You'll be able to get it. But now this will be the problem is the clearance to get this out. So I'm going to have to put the phone down. And again, pull on this and get that out of there real quick. Um, this piece. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the same thing. 
That was a little tougher. For sure had to wedge this in there and pretty much with all my might pull on this and I actually had to grab the hammer, use the back end of it and kind of claw it out of there. And then it fell, got out. Oh, thank God, so. Easy now, pull that pin out, right? These two tens, take these out, pull this out, lay it here, maybe on a paper towel right here, clean it, put it back in, put the pin back in, put this piece back in. Remember the pin goes in this groove inside of there. This will go in there. Spin this till it's locked in place. Put the cover on. Good to go, man. Put everything back together. You're good. Here you wanna lift up from the, the bottom of it. Oh my God. That was kind of stuck on there. Hopefully nothing's broke. Jeez. All right. And in the video, it doesn't look that clean. <laughs> Cleaned it for like a good 10 minutes. Uh, razor blade, carb cleaner, and a Dremel tool with a brush on the end. So we did all that cleaning yesterday. I pulled the sled out and it's still bogging. Come to realize the exhaust valve cables that come off of the valves here, come in these cables, come down. They got dislodged from their housing in there. Causing the valves to never open and yeah, that was my whole problem. An easy, you know, one minute fix. But, yeah. All right, we got the cables back in their housing there. Just looked at the owner's manual, how it's supposed to go in there. They had a nice picture how it's supposed to sit. So now I'm going to start it up, see if everything's all good. No more codes on the, on the dash, everything's running good, no lights on, sounds good, got a new snow flap, everything's good. Time for snow. Look at that new snow flap. Oh yeah. We like to show the lugs. Even Faja cut his a little bit. Show a little lug action. <laughs> 